Okay, well, Mars has been in the news ever since NASA said that, yes, we are going to Mars sometime after 2030. But the question is, why is Mars such a barren, bleak place? Well, it has very little atmosphere. Atmospheric pressure is 1% that of the Earth, and it's basically made out of carbon dioxide. But why? Why did Mars lose most of its atmosphere and, as a consequence, lose most of its liquid water? Because once upon a time, there were liquid oceans on the surface of Mars. And the answer you correctly pointed out is that Mars has almost no magnetic field. A magnetic field is very useful because it acts like a shield, a shield protecting you against the solar wind. The solar wind is very faint, but it buffets the atmosphere of every planet and blows, blows a lot of the molecules into outer space. So because Mars has almost no magnetic field, it has no protection against the solar wind, which in turn blows the molecules of the atmosphere into outer space, causing Mars to lose 99% of its atmosphere. Now, let's say we terraform Mars. Let's say somehow we're able to raise the temperature of Mars and inject methane and other kinds of greenhouse gases and raise the temperature of Mars. The question is, won't we lose the atmosphere again? Isn't it basically a pointless exercise in futility to try to terraform Mars when the atmosphere is going to be blown off anyway? Well, yes and no. First of all, even if you create an unstable atmosphere of Mars, it's good for a few thousand years. So in other words, yes, we can create with tremendous expense an atmosphere for the planet Mars. It would cost hundreds of billions to trillions of dollars, but it's going to be stable for thousands of years. Then, thousands of years later, you'll probably have to do it again because, of course, the atmosphere, the newly formed atmosphere, will gradually leak out. But there's also another factor involved. If you raise the temperature of Mars sufficiently, it means that the polar ice caps will begin to melt because they're made out of dry ice and ordinary ice. And as the polar ice caps thaw out, it releases more greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, which accelerates the heating of Mars. So we have another effect taking place, a runaway greenhouse effect. The warmer Mars gets, the more the polar ice caps uh, melt, releasing more greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, which raises the temperature even more. So there is room for hope, even though it may cost up. 